My name is Sarah Elizabeth Cornejo. My work is an investigation of hybridity, or rather reimagining identity categories, while also contending with a sort of stress and anxiety about where we're headed, like where humanity is headed and what possible future. As a first-generation Peruvian on one side and also being raised in the Deep South, it's a lot of somewhat conflicting identity. So a lot of my research is into abjection, for example, like what happens when human beings designate something as other, what they're capable of enacting on something that they view as an other, as well as what's the history of immigration in the United States and in literature and of white passing. And for that, I've looked a lot to Gloria Ansaldúa. I look a lot at Octavia Butler and her sort of dystopia, Donna Haraway, who presuppose more fantastical futures on Earth that are examples of human beings becoming more cooperative. So the show at CBU is called The Epoch of Loss. When I was doing my grad school thesis, I was doing a lot of research into snakes, Latin American mythology around snakes, and also snakes as they relate to worms, these creatures that have like no discernible beginning or end. And I happened upon this landscape in um, called the Surales, which are these mounds created by giant earthworms that they make from their feces over the years. My creative process when I'm beginning a piece, it's not necessarily formulaic, it changes depending on what I'm making. There's a piece on the wall in this show called Brood, and it started first with a really charged material. So my sister had cancer about a year before the pandemic, and she gave me two feet of her hair that she'd cut off in a braid. And it was just such a heavy charged material that I had it for the whole year and maybe about another year into it. I cut off about an equal length of my own hair. And so I made this sort of nest sort of object that combines both of our hair in this kind of prickly but like intermingled way. I had these two rattlesnake tails that I included, kind of one for each of us. So the title of the show, uh, The Epoch of Loss, What Will Survive of Us of This Human Epoch? What's going to be left after humans? are no longer here, potentially. Recently, I was doing a lot of research into not just human hybridity, but also animal hybridity in terms of animal farms, GMO'd plants, and I came across this hybrid rock formation called plastiglomerate, which is this new type of rock that's going to be sort of a fossil of the human time on Earth that's basically molten plastic having mixed with sea rock. And I was just so struck by that, that what is going to survive of us is this molten plastic. All this just detritus that's sticking out and built up and that's the only human presence in the whole landscape. So instead of moss, it's broken car glass that's reiterated itself on found animal skulls and cans and objects that's been swept up from the street. So it's this landscape that's sort of begun to refertilize after humans no longer exist, potentially, and being raised on these platforms and surrounded by this sand. You know, the viewer can walk around the room, but they have to contend with the fact that they can't really be in the landscape. It's not for them, and it's not possible to navigate it. In imagining the room, thinking about American exceptionalism, white supremacy, privileges that make people believe they can have whatever they want at whatever expense and whenever they want, and what it would feel like generally for people to come into a room that's not easy to move around in, where they're not welcome to walk into the sculptures to see a detail that they want to see up close in the center and not be able to get close to it. What would it feel like to have to kind of contend with a certain spot in the room or have to group think a little bit and have to share the space with something and not be able to move through it as you would necessarily like? It's a pre-described path for you through this landscape that it's allowing you to traverse. That's what I was thinking about for the show.